Uh, my TED Talk's on group work, the jigsaw puzzles of success, which means what I'll get into later. Um, right now, I'm going to talk about how important group work is. Uh, inevitably, it's all the time. We use it everywhere we go. Heck, for this class, we used it to get an A, right? In any other place, which I'll show you in a few, right here, for example, you have Campbell Football, which uses their 11 guys all together to get that one win on one field, all doing their individual assignments, winning their individual battles to get the one win for the whole team. And then our next example will be the first responders, which all bring their own unique uh, jobs to the table in one crime scene most of the time to make sure all the citizens of that community <coughs> are safe. Also, we'll have the next one, which is my favorite band of all time, hands down, Fleetwood Mac. And they my use God. all five of their people for group work to, for entertainment and then eventually financial reasons make money because they became highly successful. Um, after doing all that, you then get into what I'm describing my analogy for, excuse me, which is these six guys right here. This is the cream of the crop picture that I'm really aiming for, which is six different people, six different colors, six different walks of life, all come together to fit in their unique spot in the puzzle, which is the jigsaw puzzle, in my opinion, which comes out to be the big project, or the whole project. Um, no matter if that's a mute song or anything, these six people right here, six different anything, all come from different walks of life to make one big picture. And speaking of big pictures, we have Disney's Memories, which is the world's largest jigsaw puzzle. All 40,000 puzzle pieces are very unique to themselves because they only fit in one spot in the whole picture and nowhere else. Sure, you take out one piece, you got 39,999 other pieces that are relying on you to fill your job. And no matter how big the hole, there is a hole. And you can't complete it. I know you OCD guys out there, that is really going to be on your nerves, right? And then after that, you get into what what I'm bringing now. <laughs> anyway, it's about to show a red puzzle piece that's out of the picture. Now this example is what I'm, my biggest problem with group work today is people not doing the work. You know, a big analogy I use is, my dad's taught me is, you can go in my canoe, you can ride with me, I'll get really upset if you ride with me, but don't row the opposite way. You know what I'm saying? Don't, and then if you all put all your puzzle pieces together, make the big picture, you'll end up with a company like one of these, IBM, Google, Apple, Amazon, very successful companies who have more than one jigsaw puzzle or group in general at all times, who really bring different projects together by using group work efficiently and everybody doing their part uniquely to themselves, bringing what they have to the table and their talents to make the big picture. And then after that, you look at your group after you finish your big picture, which would be demo day or anything, hopefully it was successful for y'all, and you give that thumbs up saying good job. But I'm gonna leave you with this, something to really think about. What if you have your own jigsaw puzzles, which obviously you do, more than one. That could be Campbell University, SGA, anything like that. You use your puzzle pieces to fit in your group to hopefully adapt, hopefully your piece will change, but the big question here is, what puzzle piece are you? Are you the top borderline corner of the puzzle piece of 40,000 Disney memory puzzle pieces? Or are you be Beast, the face of Beast of Beauty and the Beast in the middle? What I'm trying to say is, are you the guy who's gonna sit in the corner? Are you the guy that's not gonna row? That's fine, not needed, but it's fine. Just don't row the opposite way. Don't disconnect from the puzzle. Use your puzzle piece and fit where you need to belong to make a better puzzle. Thank you.